Hi, I'm Zach, and this is Zach Does All the Things. It's food and drink today, so I'm here with my friend Haley as she teaches me how to make buffalo cauliflower wings with broccoli rice. Oh, yes. Let's get started. Okay, so we're making buffalo cauliflower wings with broccoli rice. Yes. What do we need? Well, let me show you. Cauliflower, broccoli, sauce of choice, breadcrumbs, flour, seasonings, rice. <laughs> what are the steps? Step one, chop. Okay, so we have chopped our cauliflower into bite-sized pieces, or I would say normal wing size pieces. It's up to you, but I found that the bigger the piece, the better the breading holds, and it tastes better. What are we gonna do with this next piece? Next, we are going to dice. We're going to dice the broccoli. Yes, we chopped and rinsed the broccoli as well as the cauliflower. Okay. And so next step is we are going to start making the wings, the breading of the cauliflower. First, we need a bowl. A bowl? Yes. A bowl? A bowl. Bowl. Yes, good job. So what we're going to do is use this bowl to put our ingredients in. Oh. Great. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Simple. We are going to put flour. Flour. How much flour are we going to put in? Um, so it depends on how thick you want the breading to be. Let's go medium thick. Medium thickness. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to pour the flour into this bowl. Just a whole scoop. A whole scoop. Very, very scientific. Um, I don't go by measurements. I go by my heart. That's cooking, people. That is a little bit more than a whole scoop, but we have a lot of cauliflower, so. Yep. Next, we need to add water to our flour. Let's do it. Okay. You gotta tell me. Like, I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing. Okay, so what you do, um, add water until I say stop. Okay. Because I don't know how much water to tell you to put in it. Okay, stop. So next, we are going to get a spoon, and we are going to mix it. Give it a little stir. Okay. Keep mixing until you get a runny consistency. Runny? Mm -hmm. Whoa, so, Smooth, okay. but kind of like a batter-like consistency. So this is not, this is not batter. That is too dry. Yeah. So, uh, so we keep adding water until we get the consistency we want. Ooh, that looks like batter. Um, is that what we want? Is that too bad? That That's is bad. way too dry. Don't you love cooking? I love cooking. <laughs> We're not even to the hard part yet. There's a hard part? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no. Very much so. Oh, God. Remember, when it comes to cooking, about 50 to 60% of the time, you can redeem yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great F average. The 50 to 40% remainder just means you burnt it and it needs to go in the trash. That looks great. Oh, so it should look like a thick ranch. <laughs> <laughs> Pick whatever condiment you like the best and that or dressing and just that is the consistency. Anything mayo based. <laughs> so I did that. Um, tell me things. We have now made, tell me things, <laughs> we have now made the base of our batter, like bread breading. batter, yeah. Yes, um, but we have to season it or else it will taste very bland. Okay. Okay, so that's so. where our handy dandy seasonings come in. Yay, what are we doing? We are adding garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And it's pretty much up to your discretion how much you want to add. I'm going to go based off of how I do it. First, salt. Salt, 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 salt. I don't like too much salt because I feel like we get a lot of sodium in our everyday lives. I like a lot of pepper, though. Pepper, 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 pepper. Garlic powder. Can never have too much garlic. We love bad breath. That's a lot, actually. That is... We'll see how it tastes. <laughs> It smells like garlic. <laughs> you also need to taste your batter to make sure it's the flavor you want. Yes, there oh, will be. Oh, it looks more like buttermilk ranch. Ranch. Now. Yeah. If I tilt it, will it spill? It will. <laughs> <laughs> 
like a thick gravy. Okay, so I'm gonna taste it. Cooking. Mm. It needs more garlic. <laughs> it needs more? No, mix that shit you up taste more. It. I don't wanna. You have to though. Oh, okay. You have to get the full experience. We'll mix it up a little bit more then. No, I'm that's not, I'm not mm, gonna that's be really mistaken. bad. It's not supposed to taste particularly good because it's just mostly flour. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it thinking that it's gonna be ranch. Like my body wants what it what ranch tastes like, and I know it's not that. Yeah, it's not. Mmm. <laughs> flour. <laughs> Need something. And salt. It does <laughs> need more salt. Needs to not be flour. Okay, round two of Great. seasoning. Salt, 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 salt. It like sparkles. Pepper, 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 pepper. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sneeze again. <laughs> I feel like we need more salt. Let's just go for it. She is beauty. She is grace. We should heat, preheat the oven. We should preheat the oven. Four hundred. Four hundred. Yes. Round two of tasting our batter. So much better. Borderline, maybe too much salt. I will take your word for it. No, you have to taste it. <laughs> uh, uh, Do it. It leaves a really bad taste in your mouth. Great. Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> better. Tastes like stuff now. <laughs> Great. Mean, We're moving on. We're moving We've on. We preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. D degrees. I'm going to start boiling some water. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm putting stuff on the stove. I am going to prep our pans. I'm going to put tin foil in our pans. So that way we can just stick the cauliflower once we bread it right on the pan. And toss her in the oven. Set it up on the oven. Like that. You did great. You did great. Teamwork. Makes dream work. Now we need a brush. A brush. No, you just throw it in. Oh, we're gonna dip them and drip yeah, them? you dip them and drip them. That's <laughs> what the name of this video is. <laughs> dip them and drip them. <laughs> take it out. Take it out. No, it's it's fine. fine. It's fine. We're gonna take it out. <laughs> so we're going to throw cauliflower in. You don't want to throw too many in because then you won't be able to mix them in the bowl. Oh, you're literally just gonna like whisk them up in that bowl there. Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure that they're coated pretty evenly. I'm gonna take my spoon, my handy dandy spoon, and my hands, and I'm gonna shake it. Make sure I get a little bit of excess off. And now we have a battered wing. I'm gonna do that over and over until they're all done. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that. One, two, three. And we also started the rice. Our broccoli is in with our rice. Our cauliflower is all prepped with our gravy. Breading, but... <laughs> <laughs> Looks like gravy. And now we're just gonna put, we're gonna put these trays into the... Oven. Oven. And then we're gonna open it back up and do some stuff to it, but for now... We're gonna put it in the oven for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay, here we go. So we're taking this bowl <laughs> and we're gonna fill it with the breadcrumbs. You can pour the whole can because whatever you don't use, you can just pour it back into the can. Pour our sweet baby rays. Sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever you don't use, <laughs> you can pour back into. Or you can go throw up. I'm be right back. <laughs> it's been a few mins. Yes. What are we doing? We're just pulling it out? We are pulling them all out so that way we can put breadcrumbs on them. Your oven's really hot and this- Did uh, it get too cooked? Yeah, so I think what we're gonna have to do, it's okay, we're still in the, we're still in the 50, 60 range where we can come back from this. Do not fret, it's do fine. not fear. We are going to go ahead and we are going to do the buffalo sauce, toss it in the breadcrumbs, oh. then re-douse it in buffalo sauce, put it in the oven. Oh, we're dropping each one individually? That's what you're supposed to. Okay, give us a minute. So this is the system that we're going with. She's dropping them in. Shaking them down. Yes. Ha cha 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 cha. So we uh, we finished, mm -hmm. and we pulled them out, and here's what they look like. <laughs> look at how pretty that looks. So nice. In a bed of. Don't look ah. at that. Don't look at that. Look at that. You did a good job. Thanks. So did you. <laughs> look at that. 
Hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. Maybe. We spent a lot of time on it, so if it doesn't taste good, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> Me too. We did it. We did. We did do it. Yes. And hopefully it makes sense to, to everyone out there. But we're going to eat, because this has been... Three? Two hours. Three? Two hours. And uh, we're hungry. Very so. Much so. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Zach Does All the Things with Haley Gibbs. And tomorrow we'll be doing Brain Busters, so that means we're going to take a look at the aquarium puzzle. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You like that one. I, that's my favorite one. All right. Well, see you then. Bye. I guess I should say bye. Bye. The last thing I say is see you then, so. No, I ruined it. Okay. Let's get out of here. Do we? Okay. Wait, we need spoons. It's okay. <laughs>